Paying Up by Carla Blaschka. With my son, with my wife right there, I did it anyway. I begged. Can I? She nodded. Her breasts were small, plump, and soft under her shirt. I could see that because we were all wet and she had a pile of street blankets she was giving away. I grabbed three and wrapped up my family. Thank you. I had no cash to give her, but she grinned. Okay, giving away her blankets to the well-dressed. I made a note of her organization on my phone and a reminder to send them a check. We still had about six blocks in the Seattle rain to go, but we made it, finally. Once everyone had changed into dry clothes, we met in the sitting room of the B&B for tea. The hostess, a wannabe Brit, asked us where we'd been. I let Jamie tell her about crawling through the donut, the big sculpture in Volunteer Park by Isamu Noguchi. I had seen a picture of it by Shannon Nicole Kringen, my favorite goddess in a magazine, and I wanted to see it. It reminded me of someone. My wife wanted to visit the graves of Bruce and Brandon Lee. We had to explain to Jamie who they were and then visited the grave of Princess Angeline and told him who she was. I have always been fascinated by the law of reverse effect, our hostess said as my mind meandered back to the conversation. My wife was nodding at the woman with a glazed look on her face. I knew by the way her hands were gripping the bone china cup with pink flowers that she was just happy to be warm. Jamie was on the floor feeding his biscuit, his cookie, to the owner's corgi puppy. I'm sorry? What do you mean by that? I asked, hoping she hadn't already given the explanation and I'd missed it. She looked my way and smiled. It's how we struggle and create the opposite effect, then rest and what we want comes to us. Like being still and floating instead of thrashing around and sinking when in water. You think if we relax, we'll get what we want then? I was really interested in where she was going with this. She paused and looked down at her cuppa. Well, yes, I do, rather. I was so angry at my husband. He cheated on me, you see. And I was upset. I even thought about... She looked at Jamie and lowered her voice. Killing him. But when I had accepted it, it all worked out. How? I asked, intrigued. One day he stepped off a curb and was hit by a car. It was a tragic accident, and the insurance, well... She looked around her sitting room with satisfaction. It was enough to fund my dream of owning a B&B. &B. I smiled at her and nodded. She may think different before I left. She had done more than wish her husband dead. She had advertised for it, and I was here to collect my fee for that accident. It was time for her to pay up, and I was the bill collector. Thank you.